Hey everybody, this is Ed from Bite Size Thoughts. Here I want to show you my newest vintage 486 laptop, which I picked up last week. It's a MyTac branded laptop. Can't find too much on the internet about them at all. Seems like they're quite a big manufacturer in Taiwan. It's got a sticker saying it's been designed for Windows 95, so I'm assuming it's a mid 90s laptop. It's still running really well. If you know anything about the MyTech brand or MyTech laptops or this particular model in general, please put a comment in below. Let's have a quick look around the laptop as it is. When it does boot up, it does have some driver software already loaded for an external CD-ROM drive. You can see when it comes, I have to select an option to say that it's not connected. So that it continues to boot. Then it goes into Windows 95. It's got an original copy of Microsoft Office. So this was obviously used as a business PC. Now I'll show you in a bit there. There is a copy of Canon Fodder on there as well, the previous one I must have put in. If you know how to check for the actual processor speed, that'd be amazing. I don't know what type of 486 this is at the moment. You can see it's running at 640 by 480 pixels, 16 colors. It was registered originally to Bill Evans, 515 megabytes. Hard drive. Looks like the original label of the hard drive was MS DOS 6. Maybe this used to be an old MS DOS 6 machine before they upgraded it to Windows 95. It still has a bunch of original software that the previous owner or the previous business used to have on here. This Norton 2000 software. Looks like this was used to deal with the Y2K bug that was terrorizing everybody around this sort of time, checking the computer for any difficulties or errors. It may occur because of the century change, which happens on January 1st, 2000. Seems like the last system scan was back in 1999. So they were prepared for this. There are a couple of games on here. Cannon Fodder and SimCity. SimCity I actually installed off of a bunch of floppy disks, just to check that the floppy disk drive was working. Cannon Fodder was already on here. Now this laptop doesn't have any sound card, any output, so no headphone jack, so you have to play in silence. Interestingly, if I go to load, this was the previous person's save file. Let's see how far they got. Uh, only on mission three, I didn't get very far. There's a few other bits of software on here as well. Um, original DOS install. Or Windows 95 must have been installed over the top. Um, and then they've got still got some of their proprietary software. Looks like there must have been a some kind of travel insurance company or life insurance company. Here's the battery compartment. It doesn't it's not holding any charge at the moment. This was interesting for me. Really easy way of upgrading the RAM. Somebody's put in 16 megabytes there. So a total of 20 megabytes on here. That really helps with Windows 95. In here, I assume is the hard drive. Card slot, I've put in a Zircon network card there. Although I don't have the drivers on floppy disk to install it just yet. Floppy drive, seems to be working well. I installed SimCity. On the back, got the output to the monitor, got a COM port, and also the printer port. So when I get home, I'll be able to plug in my external CD-ROM drive, be able to install more games or more software onto this laptop. The mouse is this little integrated trackball. It's a little bit fiddly though, so I'll get a serial mouse for that. Buttons seem to work nicely. Keyboard's nice and clean. This here is not the power button to turn on the computer. This one with the light bulb is the button to turn on the computer. This button uh, make the laptop go into sleep mode, which I thought was quite interesting slash confusing. If you want to see more videos about this laptop, consider subscribing. I'll have a few more coming up in the future. I really like playing around with 486 PCs, uh, desktops or laptops, so I'm really happy I found this one on Gumtree. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you again. Bye.